guys, welcome back to the channel, Cooking with Adzi. Now today, we are doing a roast, a pork belly roast. Uh, I dried it in the fridge overnight for a couple of days. I think it was about three days there. So look at that, it's nice and dry. You're gonna be able to get the crackle easy. Uh, I have got the bone in it, so that's the bone, like the USA pork rack. All right, guys, so we do have uh, some sweet potato. We're gonna whip up a mash later. But uh, I have preheated the oven to as high as this thing can go for at least, it's gonna go for about half an hour now. Now what I'm gonna do is Chop an onion, right in half. I'm gonna have two onions here in the dish. That's gonna hold the pork belly. I don't know where my rack was. So it's just going in there like that, as you can see. Pork belly, pretty simple. Um, drying out, this is the special trick I've used since I've always used it, is a little bit of hot water, scalding water. I think that pierces the skin nice. And then we're just gonna dry it off and hit it with a bit of salt. I'm gonna do this for about, um, should be about half an hour. I have scored it, so the lines should be beautiful. So, did boil that before. So just hot water straight over the pork belly. You need a bit of water underneath anyway. That's going to create a bit of a steam technique on it. Help it not dry out. Put water over here. Pretty simple. You now you don't, you want to dry that off. I don't know why I do this, but it does work for me. Whatever uh, way your cracker works, I would suggest you do that. But this works for me. So um, smash it with a lot of salt. Um, obviously I did dry it out for what, about three, four days, so the skin's dry then. The skin's dry, that's all you need to know. Bang on there, olive oil on the top. And let nature take its course now. Get a little bit more salt on there. Actually the salt shakers ran out, so it's all I had. Probably be just enough. And now we pray to God it works. Run to the screen, hot oven. Take your timer for at least half an hour. Walk away. So there you have it, your sweet potato. And this is how you make sweet potato mash. Pretty easy, obviously peel your sweet potatoes. Um, you wanna cut them whatever way you want. It doesn't matter because they're getting mashed. Um, if you want to speed up the process, just do it in small chunks. <clears throat> uh, boil your water first. Pretty easy. I don't use milk. I just use butter, salt and pepper. Um, this is going to be the base underneath the nice, crispy, crunchy pork belly roast. Now, alright, so the time has just went off. I am going to turn it down and this is the reveal of the pork crackle so far. First half an hour. Safe to say, I nailed it. Can you see that? No, can we go? I'll give you a close up. Look at that thing. I'm gonna put it down now to about 150 for the last hour and a half. Sweet potatoes on. Beautiful. Uh, I did just whip up the sweet potato. Sorry guys, I didn't film it. Um, all I did was two teaspoons of butter, salt and pepper, mashed it. Pretty simple, yeah. Uh, I'm going to put some green beans on here, then finish with a brown sugar honey soy glaze that goes on top of the pork. Uh, Rose all usually does that, but um, I'm going to give it a go. Um, this has just been an hour in there still. Smelling fantastic. It still wouldn't be done yet. So I'm going to put the timer for another half an hour uh, to cook for a total of two hours and let it rest. Got the old bird's eye green beans, baby beans, that we're just going to whack in there with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of minced garlic, salt and pepper. I love green beans. Kids will eat a few too, so get a bit of 
five stars in you, mate. Get a bit of health in your life. And Australian, you got to look for that Australian logo, don't you? Let's go. The old bird's eye beans are coming up a treat. The old minced garlic and butter in there. Right away, doing this thing. I am so hungry. Going for about a couple of hours now. Uh, we are going to let it rest and do the glaze. And have a look at that. You can make the best gravy out of that too. Oh, crispy, crunchy pork crackle. I'm going to show you how to make the glaze. Alright, so a quick um, dressing that we love to dip our pork in is like a soy brown sugar glaze. This is a cup. I'm going to go about just over a quarter of a cup of soy in there. And one heat tablespoon of brown sugar. And we're going to let it reduce, go nice and thick. Yeah, that's a big one, isn't it? And that's going to be a nice little dipping sauce with our pork. Nice and sweet, you got salty. Salty and sweet, mate. <laughs> Crispy crackly. Mix that all in, doesn't take long. Got it about just under medium here. All right, very simple, doesn't take long at all. A few minutes, starting to bubble, but it's not all come together yet. Probably like another 30 seconds. You can turn it off, look at that. It's got a nice little dipping sauce. So here's the end result. You've got your nice green beans, sweet potato mash, your pork little spare rib that's underneath there because there's a bone in, and the crispy crackling. And a little bit of this glaze on here. Not too much, but some nice little bit. First of all, the green beans. Look, I'll say. Bird's eyes, good beans. Sweet mash. Beautiful. And the time you've been waiting for. Oh, the crackle. Look at that. You get the bone in, so it's like a little rib anyway. Something to hold on to. Nice and soft. Clean bone. Crispy. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe.